Tetris song. Uh, let's see, it's Friday, right? Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. Um, we're actually starting the vlog during our, uh, our gaming stream where uh, we've been playing Tetris 99 and, and just taking turns to see who can do better. Mal's just, Mal's been doing pretty good. Thanks. I'll just, I'll just say that. I don't want to spoil the stream for anyone. I'll just say Mal's been doing pretty good. Um, good job, Mal. She's uh, currently... Thanks. She's, she's currently trying to clear out some of her own blocks to get to the garbage. I think she will. She, she, she's been playing pretty good tonight. And uh, uh -oh. she's in the 20s now, but she, ooh, there's a lot of stuff coming. Mal, you got this. You got this. And we are live on the on the Twitch website, which means we got a bunch of um, wonderful viewers slash grandchildren watching. Hi, folks. Uh, one of the most interesting things I think we've learned this evening is um, Mal plays Tetris without using hard drops. She lets the drops slowly fall. Like, well, she holds down, so she brings them down herself instead of pressing up to make an instant. And uh, that was wild to me. But then there's been so many people in chat that have been speaking up and saying, actually, no, I play that way too. Blowing my mind, man. Blowing my mind. Now you're you're getting ready to exit the 20s here. You're going to be into the, the teens. That's a little ache. You got it. You got it. I need you something yeah, other I know, you than need, those Yeah, blocks. you need some jagged blocks. Oh, you got this. You just entered into the teens, Mal. You're doing it. You got this. You've almost cleared the path. Path is cleared! Nice! God, I, I'm, I'm rooting for Mal. Me and Mal are having a, a friendly competition, but I've, um, I've given up a little on that. So at this point, I'm just hoping that she can... Um, she can pull through. She's she's doing pretty good. The path is clear again. Nice. Getting closer and closer to uh, to top ten. There's the garbage. Dang. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. This is actually gonna be not again, not to spoil the stream. This is uh this is gonna be the first top ten we've had this evening. Assuming Mal survives, ah. and she should be fine. Uh, so we'll get to hear Flight of the Bumblebee in a second. That's exciting. Every Everyone's cheering you on, Mal. You got this. Still clearing garbage. I'm taking, I know you're busy um, playing the game, but I'm, I'm looking around to like figure out if there's other people who are, are close. One person that you uh, that you are targeting is like, they're almost dead. Oh, they just cleared a bunch, or did they die? Which one was that? I don't know. You have to last just another, another space or two, because you're in 11th. It's close. It's close. But I'm, I'm, I'm. There's, there's a few people here that they have a lot of, they have a lot of garbage. Oh, over there. Mal actually has a weird advantage in this particular match because she has not had a single kill, and she's almost to the top 10, which means that she is not a target. So the downside is she doesn't have the badges that let her send more garbage. The upside is that no one's really bothered her up until now. She made it to the top 10. That's it. But then she, she went out and you came in eighth. That's really good. That was really good. Only top 10 we had tonight. Yeah. Anyway. You want, you want to play Smash? Yeah. Okay. It me, 43rd place. Doggone it, Mel. I mean, 8th eight, eight is pretty good. 8th is, you know, top 10. She did uh, she did really well. Uh, so the stream's over. Um, we were aiming for three hours, and we did three hours, which was uh, which is good. We did what we aimed for. Uh, setting this thing up was um, was interesting because uh, I didn't really know exactly how I wanted to set it up. Um, and uh, as I worked through it, it changed a few times because for a while I was like, I want to do this in the office. One of the reasons that we got the computer that we did, that we built the little tiny one, and yeah, I actually, oh, I, I never showed that I put the, the handle on it. So now it has a handle on it. It's like a little GameCube. One of the reasons that I, I wanted the small form factor is so we could move it from, um, 
out here to the office so we could do streams in both places. And uh, what I wanted to do was put it in there and hook up our audio interface to it so we could use our headsets. But that is more difficult because, um, for one, it's a completely different audio setup than what I have out here because I already have this, you know, set up. And um, it would require getting that working. It would require um, getting uh, a good audio mix on the mics themselves because I set up all that stuff when I was streaming on Mac because we did the Mario Kart stream on the Mac. And uh, it sounded really good, but I would have to replicate that on the Windows computer, and um, I just didn't have enough time to do that today. Otherwise, I would have done it. In the future, whenever streams are happening more regularly, um, it'll almost certainly be done that way. Gaming streams will take place with those headsets, and it'll probably be in the other room. But for tonight, I was like, you know, this is already set up for breakfast stream. I just have to change the breakfast stream logo and move some stuff around, and things are more or less ready to go. So it wasn't perfect, but... Um, you know, it was it was functional, and it seemed like people had a really good time. Um, apparently, we had, at one point, like 800 viewers, uh, which is astounding. I don't I don't actually see these numbers because whenever I'm doing the stream, I I don't have that pulled up. Um, I'm just like, it, it, it. I guess in my head, it doesn't matter who, how many people are there. It's just put on a show. Um, you know, have fun. And uh, it was at the end of the stream that, that uh, the chat was like, yeah, at one point there was like 800 people. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know, that's, 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 that's cool. I'm glad that people decided to join us this evening and, um, and give our gaming streams a shot. Uh, again, at some point, I want to do this more regularly. Um, I know we're still fighting an uphill battle. Vlogs are caught up, which is awesome. But only the current timeline is cut up. We still have work to do on the old timeline, and we still have work to do on Fallout. And um, those things are very important to me. So I'm going to be working hard on those before we take the next big step into doing weekly streams. Um, and I know that people are, are anxious about different series and games that I have promised to do. I, I'm still sticking by those promises, but again, I have to make sure that my plate is as clean as possible before I jump into those. So trying to make my life better the older I get. I have absolutely done things in the past, uh, taking on too many projects at once, especially some really difficult projects at once that have led to bad times, man. And um, I want to make sure I, I don't ever go back to those, those places. So doing a much better job of balancing the things in my life so we will have more time to do really fun stuff like get my butt kicked live on camera. In Tetris by Mao. I we are gonna have to get the Poi Poi Tetris game for for Switch so we can actually have a legit battle, me and her. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Mallory soft drops. What? How? What? Anyway, um there's uh I hate to do this to you, because I know this this sort of thing isn't fun. But um, we got a, a, a piece of information tonight that is super cool um, about an upcoming event. And I can't really talk about it. That's the part that, that's a bummer. But uh, there's, there's something coming up in May that's really exciting. And we found out where the location is going to be. And I'm really pumped about it. And I can't talk about it, which is unfortunate. But as soon as I can, I will. But just know that this was the night that I found out about that information. And uh, it, it made an already really great night even better. So, I'm happy. Um, oh yeah, there's still some Kit Kats left to eat. Mal, we gotta eat a Kit Kat! Kit Kat! Kit Kat! I'm coming! <laughs> I've dropped everything! I threw Kepler on the floor! Uh, what is our Kit Kat for today? We're back up to the top, right? Yeah. We, were, we were here. Yeah, so we're back up. We're back to Sublime! Uh, That's right! Sublime, it's... Sagan, what's your favorite Sublime song? You want this box? Huh? Summer times to live in DC. No? You don't like that one? Look at all the tea pe pieces. Is that what that is? I think so. Let me focus on that. Oh, it's locked. I was like, why is it not focusing? It's because I locked the focus. There we go. Oh, wow. It's pretty. It is pretty. In a weird way, but mostly pretty. And this is matcha again. Mm -hmm. And this is sublime matcha, so this is like the really high quality one. Mm -hmm. Because this will have been the fifth matcha one. 
It smells very good. Mm -hmm. It has a strong aftertaste. Like some of them for the tea are like that's the, the best beginning. One. The that's best matcha one. Yeah, I agree. That was the best one. The matcha ones have all been. Some of them have been really similar to each other. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been different. Um, this one, like the sublime ones, are the ones that are like the fancy ones. Yeah. And you can tell because for one, we've used the word smooth to describe a lot of the sublime ones, which I think still works here. Mm -hmm. But it is. It's almost. It's like little tea pieces or something. You know what? It's the difference of. It's the difference of ha having the normal bargain bin vanilla ice cream and then having the vanilla ice cream that has the little vanilla beans in it and you can taste that difference. It's like that. So it's not like mind-blowingly different, but it's different enough that you can tell that's what that was and it was very good. It's still not my favorite one though. No. It's not my favorite one. I really enjoyed some of the weirder ones. One of my favorite ones was the, t the it was like black tea or something. It tasted it like roasted earthy. Roasted green tea. Roasted green tea, yeah. I really liked that one. But we're down to just uh, just a few more, and then and then the Kit Kat challenge will be over. Well, <gasps> I don't know what that meant. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Oh, and I wanted to say very quickly at the end, thank you for 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 tuning in and joining us tonight. It means a lot to me because like it's it's a it's a big jump, you know, going from YouTube and, and starting to delve into Twitch, and uh, we just really sincerely appreciate the support. We appreciate um, the moderators who, you know, were here tonight and who are there at breakfast streams and are always willing to help out. It's just, it's a big group endeavor, and um, we appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And now I get to take that monitor, which I had to steal from my setup in the office, put it back in the office so I can edit this vlog so you guys can get this one on time too.